Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! Last time, we got some money, so let's go put it to use. We got a couple shops here, but our village is pretty much burnt to the ground, so not a whole lot we can do here. But, uh, first things first, we want to head to the item shop, and we want to buy a couple antidotes. Uh, one thing about Breath of Fire is that a lot of the items have silly abbreviations because of text limitations. So, like, we got an item called Marble 3, which is actually pretty nice. It eliminates all random battles, whether it's on the world map, the dungeon, whether they're a lot stronger than you or not, unlike the Dragon Quest games. So it's a really nice item to have if you're trying to avoid that. I'm not going to use it right now, but you can if you want. You also got a... I don't know what t the T stands for, but... Tea drop. It cures the zombie status. We want to get a couple antidotes to cure poison, but uh, everything else uh, we pretty much don't need right now. We also have an equipment chap here, but again, I would pretty much ignore it because uh, in the first dungeon we're going to go to, we're going to find everything we need. So I wouldn't worry about that. But we do want to do a little bit of level grinding. Just get up to level two. Uh, you only need 10 experience to do that, so, uh, yeah, just walk around for a little while and, well, you'll get that. So, we got a couple, uh, slimes here, just like the Dragon Quest games. Pretty easy to, uh, take out. That's... I want to try and finish the battles as quickly as possible, I, mean, I suppose that should be obvious, but one thing that's interesting about Breath of Fire is that uh, the faster you win battles, the more experience and gold you will win from the battle. So, like, if you finish it, a battle in the first round, you will, uh... Uh, you'll get 50% more experience there. You saw that CNTR there, that was a counterattack by Ryu. That's one of the nice things about Ryu as a party member, is that you know, sometimes he'll counterattack enemies there. So, the enemy you really want to watch out for are fleas. Those guys are really nasty. Um, I suppose I should go over the commands here. We got your basic attack command that lets you select, you know, attacking, defending, magic, and using an item or not. But, since we don't have any spells yet, I'm just using the auto battle, which lets you auto battle. So that way I don't have to worry about selecting commands, but makes the grinding go by a lot faster. And this is pretty much going to be the only grinding that I'm going to be doing for this LP. I highly recommend getting up to just level 2 so that uh, you can uh, survive fighting certain enemies. Now, uh, one thing you notice there, up top, you got a little animal there. Uh, what happens is, after some random battles, just randomly what will happen is some animals will show up on the world map. Unfortunately, there's really not a whole lot we can do about it right now, but if you can if you, if you can kill them, you'll get a reward from them. But we can't do that right now. So, but anyway, yeah, while you're uh, level grinding, just talk to her, and she'll restore your HP and, well, not MP, but uh, it's called AP, or ability points. So, just something to keep in mind there. And if you want to save, well, here's where your save point is. I thought the Dragon Lord was a bad guy. Well, not in this game. So, you talk to him, and this is essentially your save point of the game. They have them all over the game, sometimes in dungeons, sometimes not. But there's something to keep in mind there. So let's just finish off this level here. I just really hope I don't run into that one enemy on the world map here, because they will kill you! So, yeah, save often. At least at level 1, anyway. It's taking a little longer than I would hope. Yeah, enemies will run away. Er, well, not enemies, but uh, animals will uh, run away on the world map if you happen to run into them after a random battle. So, you want to watch out for that. Oh, well, I hope this guy won't kill me. Okay, now once we're in auto battle here. Let's see, do I have an herb? No, I do not. So, I'm gonna need to get a little lucky to win this one. Please don't kill me. Yeah! Woohoo! I survived! Okay, that wasn't the enemy I was talking about. Uh, there's an enemy called Flea that you can run into like three of them in a random battle. 
and uh, they are really fast and they deal pretty good damage to you. And there's pretty much no way you're going to win a random battle against them at level 1. Once you get up to level 2, the battles are much more manageable. So, alright, we made it. So, now that we're at level 2, let's head on to the next little village that's burnt to the ground. So, pretty much only one way to go. Don't really have any direction or anything. Oh, I forgot to talk to the little elder guy. Uh, he says that uh, Zog's empire is across the ocean. So, sorry, yeah, forgot about that. So, it's going to be a little while before we can get there. Yeah, you see, now we're always one-shotting these slimes at level 2. I'm going to be editing out random battles like most of my LPs eventually, but uh, early on, the battles are really fast with the auto-battling, so I'm not really worried about that. Oh, well, where's Nanai? Hmm, well, I'll keep an eye out for that. Nice. Well, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Ah, so this isn't Nanai. Ah, oh, crap. Why do monsters always like these castles? You want me to actually do my job? You're crazy! Nice. Oh, well. And this place doesn't seem to be doing any better either. I was hoping, you know, maybe things were a little more jovial around here. Maybe have a carnival or something. But, uh, apparently not. If only we had a strong fighter to kill all the monsters. You mean Nanai? I don't fear the Dark Dragons, even though they kicked me out of my own kingdom and burnt my second kingdom to the ground. But other than that, I'm not afraid of them at all. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go in here and uh, kill the monsters. So let's go do that. At least they haven't put out all the torches here. Okay, we got a new enemy here, Beak. Uh, they are really fast and fairly powerful. Hopefully I can kill them. Thank you. Hooray! Another level up. Yeah, early on I'm going to be uh, auto-battling everything, but we will get many more options soon enough. Soon enough. Just early on, there's really not a whole lot of options. Yeah, we got the healing pool here, so if you want to, you could do some level grinding. I'm not going to. I don't think that's necessary, but you can if you want. If, you know, you just want to have a little more of a cushion there. Yeah, these guys are pretty much always going to go faster than you are. Hmm. I'm wondering if I shouldn't go over to that healing pool before grabbing this treasure. Nah, I'll be fine. But anyway, let's grab some treasure! A little bit of money. Awesome. And let's heal up here. This is your last healing point for a while in this dungeon. Yeah, one nice thing, if you uh, walk across those skeletons there, uh, they make a little noise when you walk across them. Just nice little detail, not that that means anything. There's a poison bug, that's why I bought those uh, antidotes there. Uh, pretty much all they can do is poison you. They can't even damage you. All they do is poison you. So, uh, yeah, if you get poison, well, you want to use an antidote after the battle. Not during the battle, because well, they'll just poison you again. But anyway, here we get the bronze sword. So let's uh, go into our menu here, select equip, and equip the bronze sword, which increases your attack power, but it reduces my action stat, or act stat, which, because, well, obviously a sword weighs a lot more than a dagger or a dirk, so that means I'm going to be a little slower in combat. Pretty much what the act stat means is if your act stat is higher than an enemy, you will probably take your action before they do. If it's less, then you'll probably go after they do. So anyway, we got another new enemy here, Gloom. They can use a Thunderbolt spell on you that deals quite a bit of damage. So uh, you want to watch out for that. You probably want to keep your HP above 12 or so if you're fighting against them. 
But, uh, yeah, I mean, we can pretty much one-chat them, or almost one-chat them. Maybe if I gain another level, I'll one-chat them, but eh, not right now. Here we get the gauntlets. So, yeah, this is why I didn't want to buy new equipment, because well, we're just finding stuff left and right here. So, yeah, it uh, gives us a little more defense there, and it weighs a little bit less than the shield we used to have. So, all right. Yeah, for the most part, I wouldn't really worry about the weight of equipment. I mean, yeah, it's important, but for the most part, you pretty much want to take anything that has more defense than what your previous stuff had. Hmm, do I use an herb now? Well, I just leveled up, so probably not. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll play it a little risky. We'll be fine. Besides, we got more treasure here. Oh, yeah, I suppose it should be obvious, but you see a door like that? You just hit the A button, and you will uh, open it. There's no lock or anything. But here we get the suede chest plate. Uh, body armor there. Let's see, it weighs a little more, but it has more defense. So we want that. Pretty much anything... Oh, whoops. Yeah. That's... Yeah, pretty much anything that uh, is faster than you is pretty much always going to be faster than you, no matter what you got. At least for right now, so don't really worry about that. But as you can see, we were poisoned. Whatever shall we do? Well, let's use that antidote we got there. So, yeah, you see those poison bugs? They didn't even damage me. All they do is poison me. So, eventually I'll use an herb to uh, restore my HP, but uh, well, I think we're doing all right right now. Probably after this battle, I'll want to use it. Yep, we'll use it right now. So, just wait until your HP gets down to uh, critical there. Alright, easy enough. And let's see what else we got here. Ooh, a visor. Jordy's visor? No, no, just an ordinary visor. But it is a piece of headgear that weighs a little more, but it has more defense there. So... Uh-oh, more of these guys. Well, I hope I don't uh, run into them again, because I'm out of uh, antidotes now. Usually, I don't get poisoned more than twice in this dungeon. So, hopefully we will be fine. There is one more healing point up ahead. So, if that becomes a problem, well, we can deal with that. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the only way we can get to this point. We've got all these racks in the way. How convenient for the enemies. But anyway, you open this cha chest. Sometimes chests have traps in them. Nuts. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, there's another antidote, but it destroyed all my AP. Whatever shall we do? Well, not that it really matters, because I don't have any spells to use the AP with, but... Well, it's there. But anyway, you go over here. What's a spring? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's why I skipped that chest, because it restores all of your uh, HP and MP, and, or AP, and then you get another antidote there, so. All right. But can we defeat the lord of the castle, this tiny frog? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.